Good afternoon. Hi, Linda. Welcome. We'll be getting started in just a few minutes here. Okay, we're getting started in just a few minutes. We're getting everything all set up here. Uh, da, 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 right here. Okay. Probably should go get my earphones. I think I'm gonna run and get them. I'm gonna run and get them. Do 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 do. Oh, one more thing I can get up and get. Probably should have had some tea. Get my water. Get my water. Get over here, right? Get some soup top of me. Okay, it is, is it almost 12 o'clock? We'll be getting started in just a few minutes. Hello, hello, we'll be getting started here in a minute. Wondering, should I run and get my earphones to put in? Mm. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, I'm back. I had to run in the house for just a minute to get something. So welcome again, and we're going to get started. I wanted to put these earphones on because I had to leave my door open today because it's kind of warm in here. So, okay, let me put these on. Hi. 
Hi, Joanne. Still breathing a little funny, but hold on. Got this goes in my right ear. And this goes in my left ear. Hi, Krista. How are you today? Let me plug this in. And I got to do one more thing and then we can get started. Okay, where's the thing at there? I can't figure this. I can't figure out how to work the fan. Okay, I'm ready to get started now. Huh. Okay, so hopefully the sound is okay. So we have all North Carolinaans on so far. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Huh. Well, then kind of, I'm going to get the invoices out if I hadn't already sent you your invoice and your packages. But after Tuesday night on Wednesday morning, I don't know, something just hit me. And I had the worst cold flu. I don't know what it was. So I'm almost over it, but I feel great. I'm just all stuffy. So like always, I'll show a number, I'll show an uh, item, and the first person to claim that item wins that item. Um, today, of course, it's all animals. And we're going to start with this little bird wanted to say hello. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn him on for him to say hello. Now, why does stuff like that happen? When you... Okay, what? I'm, I'm backwards today. That's him saying hello. He also sings a song. So that's going to be our first item. So let's turn him off. Ugh, if I can figure out how to turn him off. There you go. Okay. Okay. Yep. You know what? I'm crooked or something's not right with me today. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Which way? I need to come over this way. So if I, right here. Okay. And I don't know why he don't want to stop. I turned him off. But this bird is about six inches tall and in length he's about six inches as well it's just an inexpensive bird he's kind of resin and it's made in china and he takes a couple of batteries and this bird and Alyssa, this is not on my list if you're already on here Alyssa. i just seen him when i went out in the garage this bird here is number 91 it's number 91 and he's $15. He's number 91 and he's $15. But I like the movement and the animation that he had. Oh. Okay, so this is number 91 and it is $15. $15 and it is the bird. Oh, there you are, Alyssa. Good. Alyssa, this is not on the list I sent you, but it's number 91, and he's $15, and he's an animated bird. And I'll show him again at the end. Okay, so now we can kind of get started on our list. Is the sound okay, everyone? Okay, we're going to start with this Doberman. He's kind of a sandcast dog. I cannot get right today. I don't know what it is. Let me see here. Okay. 
And this Doberman measures about, mm, he is about, just a moment, let me get my yardstick right. He's about seven inches tall. He's by Stone, let me say Stone Arts Corp. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. Let me see if I can reposition this right. Is that right now? I don't know why. Uh -oh. I, uh oh, excuse me. I know that's not right. <laughs> excuse me for these interruptions, but today I just cannot get it right. It keeps falling off the tripod. It falls off the stand. Hold on. I'm going to try to put it down low, just straight on the table and sit on the little thing that I had it on. Okay, just a minute. Let's see. Let's try this and see this. Okay, yeah. I think I get it a little better here. So this is the Dover bed. Let me move these out of the way here. And he is about seven inches tall. And it's by Stone Art Corp. And this is Doverman number 111. And he's got a pretty good weight to him. And this is number 37. Okay, it's better. Okay. Number 37. Hi, bad boy vintage. Stop. Thanks for stopping by today. And this is $8. Number 37, and it's eight dollars. I know what happened, y'all. I was trying to get fancy for y'all by trying to polish my nails and stuff. Not a great idea. I'm just not one of those girly girls to do stuff like that. But this is number 37, and it's eight dollars. Number 37. Okay. The next thing I have is some cute. Very cute, cute, cute little, hilarious little monkeys. Let's start with these two here. These are by Inesco. So you got that little monkey there, and then you have this one here. And they're holding on to a vine. And this collection is called Monkey See, Monkey Do by Inesco. And these, um, this set here is called I'll Hang In There With You Forever. Let me see if I can get that right. And they're only about three to four inches. And this is number 26 and it's $8. Number 26 and it's $8. And the next one is this cute monkey here doing like a handstand. And this one is called Let's Monkey Around. And they were put out in 1998. Oh, okay. Thank you. So that's number 98. I mean... <laughs> They're made in 1998. And this is number 32, and it is $8. Number 32, and it's $8. And then the last one of those monkeys is this one here. I'm not sure what's going on there. But they're just really cute. They're made of resin. And this one is heads over tails for you. And this one here is number 75. That's number 75. And it is $8 as well. But if someone is interested in all three, instead of 24, you can have the set of three for $20. Okay, so those are the monkeys. 
the next thing is this. I showed this the other night. It's a donkey. It salt and pepper shakers. It also have the napkin holders as well as for toothpicks. So let me take these off so I don't drop those. So this is the donkey and it's kind of a large piece. There's no markings on him at all. And let's see how big he is. Mm. This measures about nine inches from this side to the, uh, you know, the longest point. And it's about six inches high. The only nicks I see on it is right on the tip of this here, which I'll put a little um, bit of paint on that. These two little spots right here. But the napkins go right in here. And then over on this little hole here, the toothpicks go. And then you take the salt, salt and pepper shakers, salt shaker, pepper shaker, hang on there. Okay. And this item is number 50. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Yes, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so, please. I would appreciate it. So this is number 50 and it is $35 for the donkey. Number 50 and it's $35. Hi, Judy. Welcome. Okay, let me set that down carefully. Okay, the next thing. Oh, and he's kind of a sandcast um, one, two. He is sandcast. Um, let me show you the bottom. And it is a Yorkie, and it is adorable. He's very cute. Now, and I did have to do a little um, touch up right there. He had a little chip on his eye. But look at that face. Alyssa used to have a Yorkie with these same kind of uh, colors, and his name was her name was Ladybug. And this measures about ooh, about nine inches by forty inches, and it originally retailed. You can see the price on there for forty, but because it is, like I said, I did had to touch up right there on that eye. But it's not real noticeable, but, you know, it is on there. So I did want to make you aware of that. This is number 97. It's number 97. And it is $12. Number 97. And it is $12. 97. Okay, let me set the Yorkie down. Mm. Next thing, we have this adorable soccer game. With Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. We have this adorable little Bambi bowl. And there's no markings or anything on it, except it does say Disney. Where does it say Disney? Right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It does say Disney. And it's a regular cereal bowl size. Have adorable little butterflies on it. It's about six inches from side to side. And this Bambi bowl is $3 and it's number 95. Number 95 and it is $3. Let's turn Bambi up right. This $3 for the Bambi bowl and it is glass. It is glass. It's kind of, um, I would say it's similar to um, the Corel dishes is what it, the feel, how it feels. And that's $3, number 95. Okay, put that down somewhere. Where did I pick it up from right here? Okay, and the next thing I have is a deer. It's not that deer. I have to come back to that. What we're going to get started on then is these teeny tiny little animals. So we're going to start with this puppy here.
And these are teeny tiny. They are by um, most of them, I believe. They're by, um, I never can say the word, like Hagen Reniker, H-A-G-E-N. Then the second word is R-E-N-A-K-E-R. And I will type that in. Let me type that word in. H-A-G-E-R, R-E-N-A-G-E-R. Okay. Okay, I just typed in the um, how you spell it. But these are adorable. They're little porcelain puppies. This one right here is about an inch and seven eighth. And they just have so much detail to be so teeny tiny. Oh, I said it correctly. Thank you. I never know. But they are just so cute. And this little one here is number 49. And it's eight dollars, number forty nine, and it's eight dollars. Okay. So that's that one. The next one is this little teeny tiny cute one here. I'll hold it up, you know, it might be better to. And this one is only an inch. And you can see they still, they all came on cards. I don't have the cards anymore. And this one is number three. Thank you. I was trying to get cute today. Thank you. <laughs> and this one is $7, number three. Okay, and the next one I have is going to be a pair of them. One of them do have issues. These are teeny tiny. This is so hard to show. I'm going to hold this up to a piece of paper. Maybe that'll help some. Let me get a bigger sheet. Let me get one of these index cards out. Okay, I don't know if that'll help you or not. But this one is real cute. It's just hard for me to really get these on here just right. And this one is about an inch tall, but his tail, he did get his tail kind of chipped off some. So he just have a little nub of a tail. And then he has a little, I guess that's the daddy or the mommy. And then he has another little teeny one. And this one is only about an inch. And it's so hard to show these on. Look at my messed up nails. I was just trying to put on some nail polish for a change. But anyway, this pair here for both of them is number 72 and it's $10. Number 72. That's for those. Then we have the little polar bear. And this polar bear is number 16, number 16, and it is $7 for the polar bear. I'm gonna skip the mouse and cheese and come back to that one. Is this the little, hold on, I don't know. okay, right here, yeah, polar bear, we got that one, okay. The next one we have is this teeny tiny puppy here, he's um about an inch tall. And this one is number 19. It's number 19 and it is $7, number 19 and it's $7, number 19 and it's $7. Okay, so that's that one. Then we have 
this teeny tiny little cat and it's teeny this is only about a half inch tall it's about a half inch tall and it's number two and it is seven dollars number two and it's seven dollars Then we have this seal. Dealing with stuff this little, it's hard to see how to hold it, really. And this little seal is number 82, and it is $8. Number 82, and it's $8. Okay. Then we have this um, enamel teapot. Now, it did have an issue. It still have an issue, but I think it's cute. I picked it up. When I bought it, I didn't realize that the handle was missing. So what I did was make a wired beaded handle to go on it. And I looked this up on eBay, and evidently they're quite collectible. And I'll show you the bottom. It is by um, Empress Art. And um, that's all it really say on it. But um, the painting, the artwork kind of remind you of like Tory Burch kind of art. But it's really, really pretty. And every one that I did see on eBay did have a bid on it. So this enamel teapot is number 92. And it is $9. Number 92 and it's $9. And it measures about, the teapot itself is about three inches tall. And it's number 92. Your cam is dark. I don't know what's going on today. I cannot get it right today. On my end, it looks good, but the camera is not where it should be. Let me see if I can add a little bit more light closer in. Is that any better, the light? Let me hold something up. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, let me go to the next um, item. The next item is this deer here. And I um, I think it's by Shawnee. I'm not 100% sure. But it's about, oh, about seven inches, seven and a half, eight inches. It does have some crazing on it. And it is number 36. And it's ten dollars, number thirty-six, and it's ten dollars. Okay. I gotta answer a question. Okay, number thirty-six, and it's ten dollars for the Shawnee Deer. Okay, ceramic horse, what is that? Where is that at? It's trying to go in order, but I'll have to come back to that. The next thing I have these cute, 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 and I know not a lot of people still like these, but I think they're kind of adorable. 
Okay, we're going to start with this one here. They are the dream sickles. And I included this one because he's hugging a little uh, terrier. And this one was a special one. It was put out in, um, what year was that? 2000, did I put on there? Yeah, 2000. And it was put out exclusively for Hallmark Crown stores. So this one's about three and a half, four inches wide. It's in perfect condition. I mean, it's really cute, uh, cute. You know, they're all cute to me. And this is number 83. And this one is $10, number 83, and it's $10. And when I looked this one up, it was one of the few that was going for a lot more on eBay, which kind of surprised me. Okay, so we have that one done. Then we have this one here with the beaver. Let me turn that all the way around for you to see the face. And this one just has the signature on the bottom. And this one is $6. It's $6 in this number 34. It's $6 number 34. 34. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? Reset it right here. Rebecca Higgins. Okay, we have you down for that. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate it. We have this elephant planter. It's uh, some type of ceramic or more like a pottery type ceramic. It's kind of an avocado color green. It has a glaze, it's glazed. And that's the inside. And this is about three inches tall and probably, three, yeah, and about a little bit over three inches wide. And there's the elephant up close. And this elephant planter is number 43, and it is $10. Number 43, and it is $10. And like always, at the very end, I'll do a little run through of everything. The next thing we have <laughs> is this cute little porcelain pig. Kind of got that catchy, kitschy looking face. It's really, really cute. He's about two inches tall. There's no marks. Or, oh, I'm sorry. there is no marks on the bottom, but he does have his original little red Japan sticker on him. And this is number 12. Number 12, and it is $5.00. Number 12, and it's five dollars. What's in number 43? Well, that, that, that's I love little teeny things like that, too. Then we have this little porcelain bird. Okay, precious lavender buttons. Thank you. This little bird, he's porcelain, but I love the way that color is. It's just shades of like tans and a real light cream, almost white. There's no markings or anything. He's a very light porcelain. And this little bird, he, ooh, ooh. <laughs> This little bird here is number 27, 
and he's three dollars. Number twenty-seven, and it's three dollars. Twenty-seven, and it's three dollars for this little bird. And then we have where's his little friend right here, Rebecca Higgins. Thank you. Then we have his little friend, and it's a little duck. It's the same kind of colors. This measures about a little bit more than three and a half inches long. It has a lots of details. It's very fine. It feels very smooth. And this is number 35, and it is $3 as well. And that'll be $3, number 35. They look real cute together. Okay, Rebecca. They look cute together. And then I want to remind everybody on Tuesday night at nine o'clock, um, I'll be doing a joint show with um, Julia from Perfecting Pearls at nine o'clock on Tuesday night. Then we have this little seal here. This is the last one. I've had several of these. There's a little label. And it's by that um, Ulta Gary. And this little seal is about four inches. Yeah, about four inches long. He's gray. And this is number 46, and it is $3. Number 46, and it is $3. 46 is $3 for this little seal. Such a cute little face. Thank you. Then the next thing we have is this little pair of pigs. They are adorable. When I bought them, I honestly thought they were salt and pepper shakers, but they're not. They're just some cute, fine, white porcelain um, pigs. It actually says uh, fine hand-painted porcelain, and they're made in Japan, and they were put out in 1980 by Hallmark Cards. But I'll start with this one here first. The colors are real, real, real soft. It's a real light, fine porcelain. There's the, um, can I get the glare off of that? Ugh. I'm having a time today. There you go, that's better. And this one is standing up, and this is a fat one here. And he's laying down. And there's his face. Hi, Jan. Thank Hi, Jan. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Tricia. Thanks for dropping it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been like, since Tuesday, I don't know. My allergies kicked in, a bad cold kicked in. I don't know what it is. But this pair of little pigs is number 85. It's number 85, and it's $8 for the pair. It's $8 for the pair. And it's number 85, number 85. Okay. Yeah, I, I keep my water right here. I've been sipping on it. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but I mean, two days this week I was in the bed, which I, that's something I just don't do. Then we have this cute little duck here. He's about four inches and it's, mm, it's got a glaze on it, but I really think it's ceramic. And this is number 11 and it is $3. Number 11 and it's $3. 
And he kind of sat and scoops down like that. Okay, I thought he had a chip. A black and white cocker spaniel. It was not really white. It's like a black and kind of a tannish color cocker spaniel. And it is like that sand cast or resin. It's kind of heavy. And he's about six inches long. And this is number eight. It's number eight. And it is five dollars. Number eight, and it's five dollars. <sighs> then we have this tan. Rebecca, thank you. Then we have this this adorable little tan one. He looked like he's posing like at a dog a dog show. And it's the same type of sand cast like. And this one is about oh let's see I didn't measure him beforehand about almost six inches. It's almost six inches. And I'll show you that face up close. And this is number, keep picking up that same card. Number four is number four. And it is $5. Number four is $5. And thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate it. And then I have another one of these bear planters. And here's the tag on the bottom. And this planter measures about six inches tall. These do come out. That's the inside of it. And he's in good shape except for this little teeny scratch here. And it's just the paint is scratched off. And I mean, it's really cute. They got little vines of leaves and stuff. And this planter here is number 12. Number 12, and it is $15. Yeah, number 12 is $15. And then I have no idea what I'm talking about there. Then I have this. This is really unusual. down a little bit for you to see this so I can pull it all the way back. It's a piece of wall art and it is um, ceramic and it is by Dottie Draco by Gantz. And there is a sticker inside. It says Bella Casa and then it has copyrighted by Dottie um, Dracos by Ganza. And I don't know if you may be seeing it. Her signature is also on the side there. But this is really a nice piece of art. And this measures from the tip of his ear to the tip of the tongue is almost 13 inches. So I'll show it to you. All around. It has the hole to hang it and everything. Is that a chip? No. That's just where the glaze didn't hit. 
There's no chips or cracks where you see like this here and this little dot. That's just where it was touching the um, shelf when it was being glazed. But isn't that the neatest piece? And this is number 84. It's number 84 and it is $25. It's number 84 and it's $25. Carefully lay that down. Precious lavender buttons. Thank you. Then I have a few salt and pepper shakers. They've been on before some of them, but I have lowered the price of them. First, I'm going to start with these frog salt and pepper shakers. And that's the back of them. They're larger salt and pepper shakers. They are about three inches. And today this pair is number 89 and they're $5. Ooh, number 89 and they're $5 for this set. Yeah. It looks like Scooby-Doo dog. <laughs> And then we have this owl salt and pepper shakers. We have this cute set of owl salt and pepper shakers. And again, these aren't real old, but they are cute. There's no marks or anything on them. On this owl set, they are um, they do have a mark and they are made in Japan. And um, I really cannot read the other writing on them. I forgot to show the bottom of those. But this owl salt and pepper shaker is number 73, and they're $4 for the owl salt and pepper shakers. Number 73. And then we have a monkey set. Of salt and pepper shakers. Number 73, Joanne. Thank you. We have this set here. There's no marks or anything on them. And I've also lowered the price of these today. They're $5 for the set. And they're number. 23, number 23. Yeah, and that's for the little monkey ones. Then we have this yarning dog. I think he's a golden lab. Yeah, Golden Labrador. And this was put out by the country artist. It was made in China. And he's about oh, maybe five inches tall. Yep. Five inches tall. And it's number 93. Hi, Julia. How are you? And like I was saying, we're going to do a show live, Julia and I, on Tuesday. And if you haven't already um, went over and uh, subscribed to her channel, please go do so and help her grow as well. Also, another channel to check out is um, another channel to um, check out is um, Margo at what's it, the Vintage Peep Show. She has a really good channel, really good content a lot of times. So if you would also check out her channel, it would be great. I would appreciate it. Not sure if I retracted it, but I want number 84. What was number 84? Yes, I have you down for number 84. Okay, yeah, I have you down for that. 
Let me go. I need a, I don't know why usually nobody calls me, but text me. Let me tell her to send me a text. I don't know if it's something important she wants or not. Okay, so this was number 93. And then I do have this large duck here. Are you out on? No, I'm not out. She she thought I was out on this. Um, they having a long, long. Um, mile long yard sale but it's not until in two weeks anyway and so my cousin thought i was out there and she was going to join me so let me tell her no nope, it's not for two weeks it's in two weeks and tell her i'm doing live so she can join me it's in two weeks I'm on YouTube. I'm sorry. Okay. So I got that. Now let's do this here and mute my computer so I can do this. I know I'm trying to do so many things. Oh, you're here. Okay. Yeah, that mile long yard sale is not until um the twenty the the weekend of my birthday, like. Yeah. It's not until the weekend of my birthday, so I will be going to do that. Okay, this little duck here, back to this. He's kind of long. He's about a foot long. Yeah. And also, um, you know what? Let me make her up. Let me see if I know how to do this. I'm trying to do one more thing and then add as a mod. Okay, I just added you, Julia, as a moderator. That way you can leave your um, you can leave your link to your channel as well. Okay, now this duck, he's large. He's only five dollars today. He does have a little issue here. It's a teeny tiny crack, and I know it's probably not going to show up. But it does not go all the way through. So I just thought I'd add this if someone would like him once I seen the crack on him. And so it's $5 today. And it is number nine. Trish got links. You called out. Um, Jan, if you don't mind, I can make you a moderator too. Because I really have not done this, made anyone moderators or anything. Let's see if I can find you right here. Add as a moderator. Okay. And Jan, you can add a link to your channel as well if you like. This is number nine and it's $5. Number nine and it's $5. Okay. Dolphin paperweight. I think I had one of these a couple of weeks ago, maybe like last month sometime or something. But it's like uh, three little dolphins jumping out of water. And I'm calling it a paperweight. And it's about four and a half inches. It's about four and a half inches. And it's number 13 and it's $5. Number 13 and it's $5. Number 13. Okay. Okay, a leather horse. Now, before we get to the leather one, we got a metal one. 
We got this metal. I'm not sure if this is brass or what, but it is a metal horse. And he is about almost six inches long. And in height, he's about three and a half inches tall. And this metal horse is number 98 and it's $6. Number 98 and it is $6. Number 98 and it's six dollars. And then we have this leather horse. He's all leather. It is an ornament, but it has so much detail to be so little. He has a little bear trying to climb up on him. He has his stirrups. And they're connected with embroidery floss. He have a um Embroidery floss bridle or, um, you know, the little stirrup, the little whatever, has uh, a fringe leather tail. But it's such, a, I mean, it's really a cute horse. I don't know anything about him, but I figure somebody else might know something about him. And this is number 44. It's number 44. Have to run, enjoy it. Thank you for joining us, Judy. I appreciate it. This is number 44 and it's $8. Number 44, $8. While we're on horses, the next thing we have is this carousel horse and it is a brooch. And it's about, mm, about two and a half inches long. He has a lot of detail on him. No stones. Yeah, no stones are missing or anything. And this is number 30. Number 30, and it's $8. Number 30, and it's $8. Ooh, ooh. I almost dropped it, but I thought this was really cute. And I really usually don't do any jewelry, but I seen it and I said, oh, this will go in the animal show. And then the horse I couldn't find earlier up at the top was this horse here. And I've had him on before. Did I put them? I seen him up there someplace. Anyway, no. this um, horse here, this ceramic horse is about mm, five inches. It's about five inches tall. Got kind of that kitschy um, 650s, 60s look. Really nice painting. Um, he may have a little chip off of his foot right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And now I've lost it. I had it on here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make this. I'm going to change it a little on our list. No, I'm going to change it. I'll just make a number for him. This is number 14. It's number 14. And it's $8. Number 14, and it's $8 for this cute little horse. Lay that down carefully. Then um, we have this pink cat planter. It's just glazed all over in pink. There's no chips, cracks, or anything. And on the bottom, there's a lot of writing. I'm not sure what they mean by July 6, 06, whether it was made in July, on July 6 of 1906, I'm not sure. But um, this is the person that made it, that AVP, and they gave it to whoever Kelly. 
So the last name was Kelly. And um, then it says something about 9-57. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And it was made in the USA. And this is about six inches from side to side. And in height, it is about seven inches tall almost. And if you didn't want to use it for a planter, it'd be wonderful for, for a planter, but also it makes great pen holders. Like put your ink pens and pens and, you know, pencils and so forth in it, paint brushes. And this here is number 22. It's number 22 and it's $18. It's number 22 and it's $18. Number 22, $18. Okay. Let's set that down. Done those items there. Press, okay, we was on the doves now. We have these, uh, this adorable set of two little doves or lovebirds. Only mark, is no marks on the item itself. It has a sticker that says made in Taiwan. Oh, excuse me. And this pair of doves is $5. And it's number 28. Five dollars, number twenty-eight. Number twenty-eight, and it is five dollars. Then we have these poodle with some flowers. And I believe this is by, um, uh, let me just show you, I cannot read that. And it's made in England. It is a white porcelain. And this is about four and a half. And I just noticed it looked like one of the leaves are missing on that. So I'm gonna reduce this price. I had 10 on it. It's number 38 and it'll be $5 today. I, the leaf is missing back here. So it's a white porcelain with um, a pink flower and a burgundy flower. And it's number 38. Oops. And it'll be $5. And then I'm going to skip down to something a little different. I have a few things that I was doing a little bit different today. Is that I have included a few. Several people had asked me about some counted cross stitch kits and stuff. So the first one we're going to do is it this one here. Oops. Okay, now this is the first thing down on this part. We have this puzzle. It's a new in the box puzzle and it's called Born in a Manger. And it's a 200 piece puzzle. It's 15 by 18. And this puzzle is number five. Number five, and it is $10. Number five, and it's $10. Number five, and it's $10. I thought I saw, well, that has an animal on it. That'll go well. And then the next one we have is this, um, is it this kit here? Let me see. 
1981. It's not that. It's this by Dimensions, right? Yeah. yeah. I tell you, I'm having issues today. Okay, Rebecca, we have you down for that puzzle. Thank you. I appreciate it. We have this cruel or needlework kit. It's by Dimensions. And this was put out in 1989. It does have the instructions. And what um, sometimes you'll see it says cruel. Sometimes it'll say in, um, counted cross stitch and other things. And you can see this is printed. This is brand new. I'm just opening it up. It has a needle. So basically you're filling in all of the colors. And the good thing about doing these, if you get lazy and don't want to fill in everything, it's okay because it's colored in a lot of it. And this kit is by, the artist is Barbara Mock, made in 1989 by Dimensions. And there's all of the yarn and everything you need in the instructions. And this kit is number 78, number 78, and it is $18. Number 78, and it's $18. Okay. And the next one we have, is it this little one here? Creative Circle, this one. We have this one here, which is a child's prayer. And this is like a, um, well, it says on now, and they're saying on this one here, I thought I read it said cross stitch, but it's actually more of a cruel kit as well. This one is not open, but you can see the design is actually, oh, there is a little hole in it. It's actually printed onto blue. But it has all the yarn, your instructions and everything is on there. And the finished size of this is 12 by 16. The finished size is 12 by 16. And this one here is number 99. And it is $8 for this kit here. Number 99 and it is $8. 99. Mm, did I drop one of them? Oh, right here. We have a bird watching. Now, this one is actually in um, a counter cross stitch um, one. It does have the uh, cloth inside. It has the 14 count eight of cloth. You get all of your embroidery, all of your embroidery floss, everything you need to complete that. And it is two birds. And this kit here. Is number one and it is eight dollars as well it is eight dollars number one for the bird watching number one we have a couple more kits this is a bear kit here it's a wall hanging when finished this is what it looks like finished. Well, this is not, in, you know, it's in color though. And this panel makes a one about 24 inches long. It requires a little sewing and you put it on a dowel rod or a cafe rod. And let me open that. Okay. Let me get my scissors to open this. I can show you about, this is the instructions. That's what it looks like finished. And I'll show you the size to give you an idea. You can see it's pretty big.
And this bare panel is number 86 for the bare panel, and it is $6. Number 86, and it's $6. And that's for the bare panel. And it just says, have a happy, and then I guess, happy day, happy whatever. Put that aside there. And that was number 86 for the bear panel. 86. And then we have a rocking horse panel. All the instructions and everything is inside, but this is like a 3D. It's a prancing. Move the instructions up a little bit. Yeah, okay. So he'll actually rock. You'll need to add polyfill once you sew him. And he is about 16 inches long and 14 inches high. And this is number 15. This is number 15, and it is $7, number 15. We have this little cross-stitch Christmas ornament. Well, no, it has to be Christmas. It's an ornament, a lace ornament, it says. And to show you an idea of the size, the measures... Without the lace around the edge, it's about four inches. And this little um, Christmas, this little ornament is three dollars. It's three dollars and it's number seventy-four. Three dollars, number seventy-four. Seventy-four. Okay. We only got one more. Um, we got two more pieces of craft items. I don't know. If, I didn't know if anyone would be interested, but it was something I had in my, you know, was animals. This butterfly mosaic piece. Really pretty. They give you all the instructions to make it and everything on the back. And this butterfly makes, uh, he's about seven inches. Everything is pre-cut. This is number 42 and it's $15. Number 42 and it's $15. Oh, number 42, okay, let me put that number down. Then also today, something else different I did was I put together some um, little grab bags of plastic animals. And each one of these bags are $2. And what you'll do to claim them is just put the letter that I hold up. This one here has circus animals or wild animals in it. I'm not sure what brands or anything, but most of them feel like they're pretty good quality animals. This one has a tiger. A giraffe, a hippo. What is this like a cougar? An elephant. I try to make them proportionate, but and a lion. And this assortment here is two dollars, and this is A. This is A. So if you're interested, it's A and it's $2. And you get all of the animals that I show in each one. And most of these animals here are about three to four inches in this particular bag. So that's $2 for A. Okay. This assortment here is farm animals. It's farm animals. And we have a bull or a cow, whatever you want to call it. 
precious lavender buttons. Okay, let me put your name on that because I'll get confused on these. Because I precious lavender buttons. Thank you. Okay. So that's the first one. And the next one was Grady Do is the farm animals. We have this. Oh, it is a cow because up under, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But he has little tits down there or whatever you want to call them. Have that. We have this pig. And little white chick. Adorable, cute lamb. I don't know why my light just went out. Have a rooster. We have two of these little baby chicks in this one. We have a hen. Another little pig. And this probably don't go in there, but it was the closest thing. And this was a goat, a little baby goat. This assortment here is I. This one is I for the farm animals. I, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay, let me seal that one back up. The next one we have is all horses. We have this one here. And this is about an inch and a half, two inches. Then we have this white one here. And the only thing it says is made in China on the bottom. And this one's probably about three and a half inches. Then we have this little brown one here. This one is, uh, it's a little smaller, so an inch and a fourth. We have this dark brown one. I'm not sure that has a little bit more writing on the bottom, but I really cannot see it. And then we have this larger black one here. This assortment here is the letter G. The letter G on this assortment of horses. Okay, Rebecca. Then we have, what is this one here? We have this one here. These animals here, is there a free drawing for shipping today? I haven't been putting, we'll play a game that somebody will get $10 off of shipping. Up to $10 off. We'll do a, um, a game in a few minutes. I'll ask a trivia question. And whoever gets the trivia question will get uh, up to $10 free shipping. These ones are like a hard plastic kind of. Can you hear the difference? It's like a thin plastic. And this here is like a little, I don't know, a little calf. And you can see it has seams on it on how it was put together. We have this cow here. I don't know if you can hear the difference. And this one's about maybe four and a half inches. These ones are a little larger. We have one little um, horse, a little pony. And a little lamb. Now, those are all like a hard plastic, uh, thin plastic. And they're hollow on the inside. Then I did put this little pig in here. He's solid. He's like a rubber. Yeah, he's rubber, so he's a little flexible, and he's about three inches. 
And then this little puppy, I had no place else to put him, so I put him in this bag. He's like a plastic. He's a soft plastic. So this assortment here, the farm animals. Is F. F as in Frank. Then the next one we have is an assortment of animals, like out in the jungle. Rebecca for F. So we're going to start with this or zoo animals. I say zoo animals on this one. We have this um, ostrich. So there's an ostrich in there. There's a hippo. A tiger. And another tiger. So there's two tigers. Somebody got to tell me what this is. A jackal or something. I don't know what type of animal this is really. There's a zebra. A hippo. Another hippo. And a giraffe. Looks so pretty today in your work. Thank you. And this is letter E. This is letter E for that assortment there. And this one is kind of just, um, I switched to the iPad, really lagging, going back to the phone, but need to be charged. Oh, <laughs> the last one I did was another thing of um, smaller zoo animals or animals. They're about maybe the two inch size E. Okay. I have you down for that. And then this is another assortment of just animals. I'm not sure what kind of animals. Um, I have, If I had to guess, maybe this is like a llama. I'm not sure, sure. I'm not sure what it is. But there's an animal there. Then you have this thing. Then you have a lion. Ferocious. Look at them teeth. You have a buffalo. You have a very detailed elephant. And these are all about two, two and a half inches. You have another hippo. I'm going to rub this polish off as soon as I go in the house. And then you have another giraffe. And this is kind of, they're plastic. And this assortment is P. Is P. It's two letters together. The Wild Kingdom, okay. The Wild Kingdom assortment is P. And they're all, of course, they're $2.00. I'm almost to the end of these. Then this one is kind of, that's coming up. This next assortment that's coming up is um, under the sea. We have a dolphin or, no, this is a shark. This is definitely a shark. have an octopus or a squid or something. Uh -uh. I guess this is a 
I'm not sure a seal or udder or something. I'm not sure of this thing either. Initially, I thought it was a crack of doll or something, but I'm not sure what it is. Then we have this shark here. We have this turtle that's kind of like a, he's real spongy. And then we have this one here, this shark here. And this assortment is S, the letter S. The C world is letter S. Then we have some more horses. And these are bigger horses and this one is very well made. He's probably about three and a half, four inches. That horse. Then we have this horse here. And these horses have a little weight to them. And then the last horse in this collection is this white one here. So he may have been a zebra at one time, I don't know. Cause I see some little stripes like on here and right there. So he may have been a zebra at one time. And they threw him out of the zebra world. So he joined with the horses. And this is the letter B, B as in boy. I have two more to do, this one and one other one. Um, we have these right here again, um, some more, I like the zoo. We have this zebra here, and he's about four inches tall, maybe even five. Let me measure him to see. Yeah, he's five inches tall to give you an idea. And they do stand up. Put that down in there. So we have that zebra, I mean, giraffe okay look like rebecca i'm sorry rebecca had done the b before i seen joanne but i'm quite sure Alyssa had it right because then we have this beautiful elephant here i love him he's very i wish i could get a closer view of his face for you He's a very nice elephant. I don't see any names or anything, but he's very nice. He's heavy. Then we have this tiger. We have a lion. And he's about, but now the lion has some issues. He got in a fight and he lost his two front legs, the bottom part of his two front legs. And then we have this nice um, hippo. So these five here, $2, and it is the letter O, letter O. The letter O. And the last one we have is these teeny tiny assortment of animals. They're kind of all over the place. Have this little, I guess it's like an orangutan. Thank you, Joanne. I have you down for O. I guess this is an orangutan. He's little, about an inch and a quarter. We have this giraffe that's setting down. 
we have a dinosaur. And uh, it looked like he might have been in a confrontation with someone because I just noticed he's missing an arm. We have this uh, a rhinoceros beetle. I only know that because I found one in my yard one day and my son-in-law wanted me to keep him for him and he took him to the lab. He works at a lab and they froze him and ground him up and used his parts to do some tests. Then we have this funny looking little monkey here. A kangaroo. I guess this is like a dog, like a husky or something. A Pomeranian little dog. I'm not sure what this is, some type of goat or something. And another cow. And this assortment here is the letter M. M. And that was the last one of those. That's the letter M. I've heard of those bugs. They're pretty big. They are. It was just so unusual as while I picked it up and I didn't think he would want it, but he did. Okay, I have to look up a trivia question. So we did that. We did all of those. Okay, let me go back up here to see what I skipped because I skipped about four things. I don't know why I did that. Um, let's see. We have about one, two, three, four, four. We have five things left to go that I didn't do. Five. Okay, right here. Um, looks like my oh, you have a pom Pomeranian. Closest thing I get to pets is I have a fish pond and I have some fish. We have these little dogs here, little hunting dogs. They were made in Japan. And actually in the last um, auction I won, I think they had like four sets of these. It was, I'm going like, why was there so many? I guess the person really liked them. It was from an estate sale auction. And these little hunting dogs is letter did I run out of letters? I shouldn't be out of, I mean, not letters. Um, okay, well, I have some letters. So we're going to do letters, Alyssa. This is letter D. And it is $6 for these little dogs. D. Where, oh, where are you? Can't find what I was getting ready to show you, but this is really cute. Let me show you this here. Let me see if I can read what's on the bottom. Made in Brazil. This is some Brazilian pottery. But look at that. And this little black mark was actually fired into the pour, into the clay. I don't know why people are texting and everything today, which normally I don't get any calls on Saturday. <laughs> so one like farm and the other one likes the zoo, huh? Baby buttons, I miss them in my YouTube day. <laughs> And this fish is kind of large. It's about mm, seven and a half inches long and seven inches tall. And it's made in Brazil. This is letter H and it's $15 for the fish. This would be really cute sitting in a bathroom. Kind of got that nice teal blue that's so popular right now. So that's letter H. I'm going to add that at the bottom of my list. That's letter H. And it is the fish. And he's $15. For 
precious lavender buttons. Thank you. Now and I see what when I picked the fish up. Now and I see what I was looking for. This um, like it holds potpourri. I used to have a Yorkie named Ladybug. My sister has a dog named Stuart. Yeah, they both had dogs, but mommy doesn't. Okay, so we're back on track now. This decoy duck looking, um, you know, it's a little holes. It's by Cody. And this is letter K. Letter K. And it is $5 K. And you can see on the bottom it says Cody. And you pull that out and fill it with potpourri and set it in your closet in your bathroom. It smells really good, depending on what scent you uh, put in there. A bear planter. Oh, right here. Be great for a little teeny air plant. Or you could put a voltage candle in it. I'm not sure what it's for, really. <laughs> it is some type of... It might be ceramic. I'm not real sure on that. And this little bear planter is letter T. Letter T. And it's $3. T. And it is $3. But it's really a cute little face. And the last thing I have is some Cocker Spaniel puppies. T, okay, letter T. It's two little Cocker Spaniel puppies. One have a bone in his mouth and the other one has a bone kind of down his feet. And it just says made in Taiwan and it's some type of resin probably. And they are about what three inches, two and a half inches wide and about three inches tall. And this would be letter C, letter C. Letter C. And this is five dollars. Five dollars letter C. Rebecca. Thank you. Oops. And that is everything. You see that I skip anything. No. It didn't skip anything. So what I'll do is do a quick run through. Or is it any animal that I did not show that somebody wanted to see? Because I do have other animals. I just didn't, you know, I just put some of them in and not every single animal. But I do have some other animals sitting here. So if it's a particular animal you were looking for, if you would let me know, I'll be glad to show it if I have it. Okay, so let's start back up here at the top. Okay, I had a Cocker Spaniel named Jasper. Oh, okay, so that's why. Um, the Pink Cat Planter. Anything with bees. Only thing I have with some bees on it. No, not really, because I'm going to a doll show. That's why I, all my bee things. I have a lot of bees, but all of my bee things I have together because I'm going to a doll show in Wichita, Kansas. And the theme is cute as can be. So all the items is bee related. Well, they're all doll clothes, but I'm going to use the... Um, little trinkets and things just to kind of decorate my table. 
So I will be having those for sale until after September. So the first thing was this little cat planter and it was number 22 and it's $18 for this cat planter. Then we had the Doverman. Where did you go, Mr. Doverman? We had this Doverman. I think I'm making that noise. We have this Doverman here. And he was number 37, and it's $8. Oh, I know what I skipped, the bird. We had this little bird here. He's a singing bird. And he chirps and sings. Let me turn him on. And he does move. And this was $15, and I forgot the number because I didn't write it down. But oh, it's right under it. It was number 91, number 91. And it was $15. Okay. You need to stop. Okay. I know I turned him off, but he still wants to sing. Maybe you need to get to the end of his song. I'll leave him alone. Then we had the little Onesco monkeys. Um, this set here was number 26. And it was $8. So we have him or them. I guess one's a girl, one's a boy, because she has a flower on her hair. Then we have this little monkey here. That's called uh, Heads Over Tails for You. And this was number 75, and it was $8. And then we had this monkey here. Any cute hippos, preferably one with his mouth shut? No, I don't. I know. That's not something I find much. And it says, uh, let's monkey around. And this was number 32, and it was $8. But if anyone was interested in the set, all three, I said instead of 24, um, I would do 20. The frog shakers, these ones here, the frog salt and pepper shakers, they, I had marked those down to five, I believe. Frog salt and pepper shakers right here. Oh, just moved, just passed it. Okay, let me find those on my list. Right here. Yeah, they're $5, Joanne. Okay. Okay, I have you down for those. So I won't show those when I get back down there. I was so, um, Joanne and I was going to meet up initially this week at her antique mall that's in um, Burlington, North Carolina. But our schedules just didn't match up. Then we were going to meet June 5th at an antique mall, um, antique show out here in Sanford, and it was canceled. So we're trying to get together on what dates we're going to be meeting up. And I'm not sure of when. I need to look at my schedule again and see. Okay, so that was that. Then we had the adorable Yorkie. Where did you go, little Yorkie? Right here. We had the Sandcast Yorkie. He is heavy. Will I end? Will you? That'll be fine. I will. Yes, I will, Rebecca. That will free me up. I'll, I'll just wait and invoice on Tuesday. Um, this adorable um, Yorkie. Like I said, he does have some little issues on his eye, but I did um, go back and repair it. You know, it was just like a little chip and I just added some paint. 
And this Yorkie was number 97 and it was $12. Okay, Yorkie. Then we had the Bambi Bowl. This Bambi Bowl. <laughs> oh, no problem. This Bambi Bowl is $3 and it was number 95. And we have uh, da, 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 Bambi ball. And then we had a deer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. These things just kind of get up and. Oh, here it is. We had this deer. And like I said, this, I believe, is okay. I'll put your name on that bowl. Um, and I believe this deer is by, where am I? I mean, my, I'm like all over the place today because I'm, I'm, this is the wrong thing. But anyway, let me find where he is on my list. We're going to come back to him because I don't even see him on my list. And I know he's on here because I showed him earlier. Okay, where was I? Where where was where was I? Oh, I found it. It's number 36. It was ten dollars, and I think it's by Shawnee. It's number 36 and it's ten dollars. It looks like, yeah, I found some that look very similar, so that's why I think it is, and looking at the feel and everything. Okay, now we back on track. Then we had all these adorable little animals here. Let's just say all of them. What I'll do is instead of um, having different prices, if you choose any of them, they're $6. I'll make these $6. This one is number 49. Number 49. This one is about an inch and seven eighths. This little fellow here. This one is about an inch. It's number three. This pair here, this is the little teeny one. It's about a half inch. And then this is his, this one here. This pair here is number 72 and it'll be $6. We have this polar bear and at $6. We have this little puppy here, it's about an inch. It'll be $6 and that is number 19. We have this little kitten or a little cat. And that's number 19. And the last one I have is the seal. Oh. It's this little seal. And the seal was number 82. It's about an inch and a fourth. So that's all of those. Then we have the little enamel teapot. And this enamel teapot was number 92 and it's $9. Number 92 and it's $9. Get that one so. Then we had one dream sickle that didn't sell. This Hallmark, ex Hallmark exclusive. Rebecca C. Okay. And this um, 
right here is number 83 and it was ten dollars Then that sold, that sold, that sold, that sold, that sold, pig pair. Then we had this pair of pigs. Nope, no hippos. We got a pair of pigs, but I'll keep an eye out as I'm out hunting. Had this pair of pigs there by Hallmark, made in Japan, 1980. And this pair of pigs was number 85 for $8. No bee. Well, I had bees, Alyssa, but I was saying I um, was saving them for the Kansas doll show. I'm signed up to go, but I'm still not 100 percent sure. I'm saying I'm going, but some days I say I'm not going. And that's so that's so that's so that's so bear planter. Bear planter. Where is it? I didn't do this. We had this donkey um, salt pepper napkin combo. It was number 50 and it was $35. I skipped that because I can't find. Oh, this bear planter. This was number 12. Number 12, and it was $15. Okay, you should end up getting that. Okay. We had the monkey salt and pepper shakers. And they were number 23. Number 23. And of five dollars, number twenty-three. Then we had the dolphin salt and pepper shaker. I mean, <laughs> dolphin paperweight. And this was five dollars, number thirteen. We had this leather horse, and it is an ornament, but it's a lot of detail on it. Leather horse was number 44, and it was $8. We had the metal horse, whether I'm not sure if it's brass, that's why I'm saying metal. And it was number 98 for $6. We had the carousel brooch, number 91 for bird. What was number 91? Let me see, I got this on my lap, no. Oh, the bird that we had, yeah. Correct, I have that, yes, thank you, Alyssa. This we have this carousel brooch. No, I didn't. I had, you know, I hate them online ones sometimes. Everything I bid it on, I got outbid it on. And I was supposed to be checking back with him after the sale was over, and I totally forgot. This uh, brooch is uh, number 30, and I had eight, but I will do this brooch for $5. $5 on this brooch. And it's number 30. Then it was these doves. It's two doves. Only markings, it has a tag on it, it says made in um, Taiwan. And that was number 28, and it was $5. Number 28, and it was $5. And then we had the poodle with the flowers. And it was number 38. I bet it was, it was a lot more than $2,000 there. 
I mean, it was everywhere. I mean, I have never, it made me realize that I needed to start downsizing and getting rid of a lot of stuff. And we had these little hunting dogs here. And that was letter D. I had six. I will mark these down to three for the uh, hunting dogs. And this is letter D. And it'll be $3 for these hunting dogs. Okay. And then we had the cross stitch kits and it didn't seem to be in much interest in the craft items on this show. So I think that's it. Um, but what I did want to do, I think that's everything that I have. So let me come up with a, um, let me Google a question. The hunting dogs, Rebecca. Okay. And I did mark them down to $3. <laughs> hunting dogs where anyway three, let me just write your name on them because i cannot rebecca three dollars okay um let me google a question real quick y'all have not seen the videos on dolls you gotta see i mean it's amazing you know, I mean, I used to have a lot, but I don't have a lot of dolls anymore like I used to. Still got too many, but nothing like I used to have. Collectible. I'm Googling a question. Now, you have to remember, I'm Googling something, but that might just be Google's opinion and not necessarily my opinion or your opinion. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. What is the brand of one of the most collectible kitchen item? Can somebody think of one of the most, a brand for the most collectible kitchen item? Well, actually, you know what? Only really two people bought stuff today. So really, um, I'm going to deliver Joanne her stuff. We're going to get together. So, Rebecca, I'll give you a $10 credit. Does that sound fair? I think that's fair because there's only two people, I think, that bought stuff today. Pyrex, that would be the answer. Pyrex Corningware, that is the answer. So you win it anyway. But I'm going to show you all what I just did with my doll stuff last week when I was in here cleaning up and organizing some of it anyway. Take that off. Take these earphones out of my ear. It's getting on my nerve anyway. I'm going to show you what I did with some of my dolls last week. Uh, let me stand up. Uh, can you see up there? Let me see. I got to step over from behind my table some. Last week, I started organizing them, and they're all the way across the top of the... Uh-oh. Hold on. I just lost me. I don't know what I did. I don't know. I just lost. What did I do? Jan, are you still on there to tell me what I did? I don't know what I did. Dark cam. I don't know. I did something, so I don't know what happened. So bye, everybody. <laughs> But I was trying to show something. That's why I sit still. But I'll see everybody Tuesday. And I will not send out invoices until Wednesday. So talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.